What a lovely sight to behold. Please be seated. <clears throat> Good afternoon. My name is Ramaya Krishnan, and I'm the Dean of the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy. You can't hear me. How's this? Is this better? Yes, no, no. Uh, let's see if we can get this. I, I think it's, it's all right, I hope. Okay, thank you. So my name is Ramaya Krishnan. I'm the Dean of the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy. And I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you who have joined us here today. We have such a wonderful gathering here of family and friends from all over the world. <laughs> Feels like a rock concert I used to go to. As well as many others who are watching the live stream of today's ceremony online, we are so pleased to welcome each and every one of you to the Heinz College Hooding diploma and award ceremony. Today we celebrate your accomplishments at Heinz College, but we also celebrate the impact you're now poised to make. You graduate today having equipped yourself with the education and experience that Heinz has to offer, while at the same time pouring back into the community and enriching the experience of your fellow classmates. The world needs your commitment, your sense of purpose, and your innovation now more than ever. And thanks to all of you for your hard work and that of your cohort and all you're going to do to be prepared to offer it to everybody after your graduation here. Earning a degree from Carnegie Mellon University is no easy task. All of our graduates have worked very hard to reach this significant milestone in their education, and just as importantly, each of them has done their part to make Heinz College this amazing community that it is. Please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for these outstanding individuals. Of course, we must first acknowledge that they did not reach this high point in their lives alone. Our students celebrated together in good times and helped each other during tough times. Through it all, they were supported by family and friends, many of whom are here today. Graduates, please join me in thanking your family and friends for their support. Also joining us today are many faculty and administrators who have diligently worked to create the Heinz College experience to our students and graduates, both inside and outside the classroom. We have a tradition of excellence at Heinz College and our faculty and staff continue to ensure that we deliver upon our academic mission and support the success of our students. Will the faculty and staff please rise so that we may recognize you. I'd like to specially introduce some of the folks seated on the stage with me today. Susie Lee, a US representative from the state of Nevada, an alumnus from the Heinz College, class of 1990. Andrew Wasser, Associate Dean for the School of Information Systems and Management at Heinz College.
Jackie Speedy, Associate Dean for the School of Public Policy and Management at Heinz College. <laughs> Marty Gaynor, the E.J. Barone University Professor of Economics and Public Policy at Carnegie Mellon University and former Director of the Bureau of Economics at the U.S. Federal Trade Commission. <laughs> Doreen Basma, Associate Dean of Diversity, Inclusion, Climate, and Equity. <laughs> Dan Nagan, Teresa and H. John Heinz III, University Professor of Public Policy and Statistics, and Associate Dean of Faculty. <laughs> Akshay Jha, Assistant Professor of Economics and Public Policy. It may, be, it may seem as you in your caps and gowns surrounded by friends and family, that the hard part is over. And it is. For this chapter of your life, at least, and you've earned the recognition and celebration of this weekend. But the hard work begins. That's why it's called commencement. Because making the impact you wish to create requires not only synthesizing all your knowledge and experience up to this point and applying it, it also requires the persistence to continue making the impact that you wish to create. By earning your degree, you've proven that you have both ingredients. You're well-suited to enter a rapidly shifting world and to lead us in a transformative way. Each of you now is a graduate of Carnegie Mellon University. That's now part of your story, and this is just the beginning of that story. When you reflect upon that accomplishment, I hope you feel great pride and draw confidence from everything you've taught and learned up, up, up until this point. I speak for all of us at Heinz College when I say we're extremely proud of you and we can't wait to see what you do next. Bravo to you all. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Congresswoman Susie Lee. <clears throat> Congresswoman Lee was first elected to represent Nevada's third district in the U.S. House of Representatives in 2018. From combating the drought to bringing back supply chains to America to lower costs, to ensuring American veterans get the benefits they deserve, Congresswoman Lee has delivered for our constituents. Congresswoman Lee also helped pass the most significant legislation in decades aimed at reducing prescription drug costs. <laughs> Congresswoman Lee was born in a working class family in Canton, Ohio. She learned the values of hard work and stretching a dollar starting with a paper route at the age of eight. Her father was a military veteran who worked at a steel plant while her mother stayed at home to care for the family of eight kids. After graduating from public schools, Congresswoman Lee worked her way through Carnegie Mellon University with a combination of scholarships, loans, and part-time jobs. After moving to Las Vegas in 1993, Congresswoman Lee became the founding director of After School All Stars, which serves more than 7,000 students every day. Since 2010, Congresswoman Lee has served as president of Communities and Schools of Nevada, a leading dropout prevention organization. Under her leadership, CIS has grown to serve more than 64,000 students in 63 schools in Nevada. Like you, Heinz College is part of Congresswoman Lee's story, and she's part of ours. We are honored to welcome her back today to share some words with all of you. Susie? I'm going to sit this down. Okay. Hello. Hey. 
You all look so fabulous, including the parents and friends and loved ones up there. I hope I don't cry. I usually cry when I watch the Olympics and graduation, so bear with me. Well, good afternoon. There are two reasons, I'm told, why one returns to their alma mater. To reminisce or to settle a score. I'm here to settle a score. <laughs> Dean Krishnan, faculty, staff, administration, alumni, and donors, I have waited some 30 odd years to say these two words. Thank you. <laughs> you see, I grew up in a steel town about 60 miles south of Cleveland, Ohio. I was one of eight children and my father, who only earned $36,000 a year, was determined that each and every one of his eight children went on to higher ed. But when he lost his job my sophomore year, I thought I might have to drop out. CMU made sure I didn't have to. CMU became my safety net, formed by a patchwork of financial aid, part-time jobs, but most importantly, people who had my back. My swim coach, Donna Morosky, hired me to teach aerobics, and then one of my aerobics students hired me to be a nanny for his children and continued to help me out when I needed it most. That student was Bob Casey, the entrepreneur, not the senator, and he is with us today. Thank you, Bob. One time I asked Bob, why are you doing this for me? And he said, because I know that you will turn around and help others when you're successful. So a few years later, as my mom and dad sat in the stands, beaming with pride as I know all the parents are today, as I received my diploma and turned my tassel, I knew my charge. I wanted to help to serve. Class of 2023, it is an honor to be here today to share in this celebration with all of you because you are important. This is a decisive moment in history of our nation and of our world, and you are the deciders. You are part of the most educated generation to date. And as graduates of this institution, you are the best educated among the most educated. You are part of the most technologically advanced generation to date. And as graduates of this institution, you have been taught how to use technology to solve our world's most complex problems. You are part of a more racially and ethnically diverse generation, making it more, part, more possible for you to build better teams and broader coalitions. And trust me, every problem you solve, you will need that. And you are part of a huge generation. In a matter of years, Gen Z and millennials will become the majority of the American electorate. So I meant what I said. You are the deciders. And today, as all graduation speakers do, I want to share uh, some of what I've learned to help you as you decide on what our shared future is. Like each and every one of you, I completed my systems synthesis project before I graduated. I know that everyone has a big sigh of relief on that one. Uh, I signed up to help improve public education in McKeesport, a community just 10 miles down the Monongahela River. And if you don't know how to pronounce that name, you need to return your diploma. <laughs> My team and I went down to the rundown old steel town and we observed what was happening at the struggling school. We sat with the teachers, principals, parents, and listened to what they had to say. And we took all that data and concluded that teachers, as those closest to the classroom, needed to have a greater voice 
and what happened in the classroom. And from that, we developed a school-based decision-making model. And through that project, I came to understand that the power of decisions, but more importantly, the importance of a decision-maker's perspective. After all, if you don't know what's happening in the classroom, in the workplace, in the neighborhood, in the hospital, how can you really know the best solution for the classroom, the workplace, the neighborhood, or the hospital? I know that many of you are passionate, you're all compassionate, and I know that you feel the call to help and to serve. So here's my first piece of advice for you. Try to get as close as possible to the problems you're trying to solve, because that's how you'll be able to shape policies that really speak to the experience and the reality of the very people you're trying to help. After I graduated Carnegie Mellon, my family's economic situation was still what it was, and I didn't have two nickels to rub together. So while some of my classmates were nervously entertaining various offers, diligently planning for their futures, asking themselves what they wanted to be 30 years from now, I had no idea. All I, I just needed a job. Which leads me to my second piece of advice. You don't have to determine your entire career, what your entire career will look like at this very moment. Take the opportunities that come your way and make the most of them. And trust me, more opportunities will follow. I moved from Pittsburgh to Boston where my first job was with an environmental economics consulting firm. And then on a whim, I moved from Boston to Las Vegas. And I wasn't gonna be a showgirl. <laughs> I got my first job working for the mayor of Las Vegas, who was running to be the state's first female governor. She's my friend and mentor, Jan Jones. Jan taught me the most important thing I've learned about public service. While most politicians are known for talking, the very best politicians are true listeners. When she became mayor, one of the first meetings she took was listening to a group of people experiencing homelessness. This had never been done before and has ra rarely been done since. But she listened to these constituents and she heard them talk about the obstacles they faced trying to get the services they need that were spread all throughout the city with very little access to public transportation. And she heard them explain how impossible, nearly impossible it was for them to get back on the fee their feet. And she made it her mission to help them. Jan lost her race for governor. Nevada has yet to have a female governor. We will change that. But she asked me to help her set up a homeless center that would bring all of the services under one roof. And I jumped at that chance. After that, I started an after-school program, and then I went on to uh, took over a community schools program. During these years, I worked with children whose only memories were those on the streets. I helped young girls who were late for school because they had to take care of their younger siblings as their parents worked, or young boys who fell asleep every single day in class because they couldn't find a place to rest in their tiny apartment. I handed out backpacks of food on Fridays so kids wouldn't go hungry over the weekend, knowing that some of them would have that food taken away from them by their own family members before they could taste it. Witnessing the impact of poverty up co close, the barriers to education up close, made these issues that I was so passionate about very real and the solutions more straightforward. By getting your hands dirty, you can gain important insights and make better decisions. So if you care about climate change, why not go work on a farm or for an energy company? If you care about voting rights, become a poll worker, a poll watcher, an election official. If you care about poverty, why not spend some time closest 
to the communities most impacted by it. Perspective can help you overcome bias or consider other viewpoints. Perspective can help you empathize and strategize. Ultimately, perspective can enhance your purpose and your power. It will change how you think, the action you take for years to come. One of my classmates at CMU, Lisa Georgiana, who's here also today, claims that I told her when I was at CMU that I would run for Congress one day. I don't remember that. I think it might have been after a pint of Purple Hooters from Panther Hollow Inn, which no, you guys don't remember, but it was an old uh, watering hole that is now gone, but not forgotten. Although I should be clear that I did not make this congressional revelation after a pint during a break of one of those four-hour evening classes. A Heinz student would never do that. In reality, it would be decades before I made my decision to run for office, and when I did, the reason was simple. I wanted to keep helping people, and I wanted to help more people. I could hand out backpacks of foods to kids, but I knew that their families needed more support to move towards self-sufficiency, like WIC and SNAP benefits, affordable housing, affordable health care, including mental health care access to good job and fair wages, and paid family leave. As a nonprofit leader, I was spending more and more time talking to policymakers, and more and more there seemed to be a limit on what I could do unless they listened to me. And as my mother of eight would always say, if you want something done right, do it yourself. So as a lawmaker, I knew I would have to have a say on policies that matter to me and my community, to the students and families I served every day, drawing from the perspective I gained on the ground, grateful for the safety net that I'd had, determined to give every child a chance to succeed. I decided to run for Congress so that I could help make decisions at the highest level. Now, I'm going to be honest, the first time I ran, I lost. I was devastated. I thought I'd never do it again. But kids were still hungry, people were still homeless, and the American dream was still out of reach for far too many in my community. So I ran again, and that time I won. Which brings me to my third piece of advice, or maybe more of a plea. I am the first Heinz graduate to go on to serve in Congress. We now have a freshman who is the second Heinz graduate to serve. But there is no reason we should be the only two. So please, graduates, run for office. We need you. Over the last five years, my decision-making power has rested in my vote on the House floor. When we passed the single largest investment in education and history, I thought about the students I worked in schools. Even though we still have a long way to go, millions of our most at-risk students are better off. When we passed the single largest investment in infrastructure in history, I thought about the parents I worked with who were out of a job and on the streets, and the jobs that this would, be crea would create for people like them. When we passed the single largest investment in climate change and, and energy in history, I thought about the drought conditions in my hometown of Las Vegas and the relief that it would bring to people across the West. And when we passed historic investments in American manufacturing, science and technology, research and development, I thought of workers like my dad, who had lost his job to overseas competition. I thought about students like you at CMU and all of the scientific breakthroughs that we could make. And when we passed a law to save small businesses during a pandemic, when we passed a law to reduce gun violence, when we passed laws to expand the child tax credit and lift children out of poverty, I thought of all the people I'd served through the years and how these laws could affect them. And when the clerk at called Susie Lee of Nevada and I responded, I, I did so for them.
But there's one vote that I cast over these past five years that stands out um, the most. As you know, January 6th, insurrectionists breached the U.S. Capitol, calling into question the votes of the American people. That day, I was locked in my dark office watching the violence unfold on TV just like the rest of America, only unlike the rest of America, that violence was outside my door. That day was full of fear, to be sure. But what I remember most vividly was the resolve of my colleagues. After the violence stopped in the wee hours of the night, members of both chambers, members from both sides of the aisle, from the most conservative to the most liberal and all of us in between, returned to the Capitol. And then we debated for hours, and then we certified the election results. I wasn't the only one with tears in my eyes that day. That day, democracy was tested, and that day, democracy triumphed. The people decided that election, and that day, we made certain that their decision stood. Class of 2023, you are the deciders now. Looking out at all of you, I take great comfort in that fact, because I know that you, too, will take what you have learned here and use it to help people to serve. You can start small and engage in your community. You can go big and run for office. But, and whatever you do, please make sure you vote because voting is our ultimate form of decision making. Together, you will decide the future of this country and our world. It's an enormous responsibility, but I know you are equal to it. As you leave here today, know this. You have a Heinz education. You have our trust. You have our hope. You are our hope. The future is yours, class of 2023. Now go out there and shape it. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you, Congresswoman Lee. That is uh, inspirational. Um, your call to action and the focus on experiential learning, which is core to what we do at Heinz, is so resonant with all of us. And for those of you who are curious, Panther Hollow, I think, is where Chipotle is right now, just so you're aware. Um, OK. So um, now it's time to recognize our PhD graduates receiving their Doctor of Philosophy degree today. Will the Doctor of Philosophy candidates please come forward? And Marty, the podium is yours to lead the hooding ceremony. Thank you, Krishnan. Well, uh, Susie Lee is a tough act to follow, as, as she well should be. And uh, we should all be very proud that uh, we produced a graduate like her. And we're looking at all of you to do similarly important things in the future, as we know you will. We have an absolutely terrific PhD program, just like all of our educational programs. And it's really my great honor and privilege today to uh, recognize four of our recent PhD grads, all of whom have done cutting edge research that makes a difference for important real world problems. Will Amanda Costin please come to the stage? I'm pleased to present Amanda Costin with a Doctor of Philosophy in Machine Learning and Public Policy. Her dissertation is titled Principled Machine Learning for Societally Consequential Decision Making. Amanda has accepted position with Microsoft Research New England as a postdoctoral researcher. Amanda will now be hooded 
by our advisors, Alexandra Chodakova and Edward Kennedy. Please join me in congratulating Amanda. Will Max Rubenstein please come to the stage? I'm pleased to present Max Rubenstein with a Doctor of Philosophy in Statistics and Public Policy. His dissertation is titled, Medicaid, COVID-19, and Causality. Max is currently an Associate Statistician at RAND. Max will now be hooded by his advisor, Amelia Haviland. Please join me in congratulating Max. Will Shubranchu Shekhar please come to the stage? I'm pleased to present Shubranchu Shekhar with a Doctor of Philosophy in Machine Learning and Public Policy. His dissertation is titled Data Driven Decisions and Anomaly Detection Perspective. Shubranchu has accepted an assistant professor position at Brandeis University. Shubranchu will now be hooded by his advisor, Lamana Kovu. Please join me in congratulating Shubranchu. Will Yi Zhang please come to the stage? I'm pleased to present Yi Zhang with a Doctor of Philosophy in Information Systems and Management. His dissertation is titled Three Essays on the Economics of New Channel Adoptions in the Entertainment Industry. Yi is currently an associate in discipline at Columbia University. Yi will now be hooded by his advisors Michael Smith and Rahul Talang. Please join me in congratulating E. Please join me in congratulating all of our wonderful PhD graduates. It's now time to present awards honoring the accomplishments of some very special members of the Heinz College community. These award recipients were nominated and selected by Heinz College faculty, staff, and student. The first award recognizes two PhD students who were selected by the PhD committee to receive the Suresh Konda Memorial First Research Paper Award named in memory of alumnus Suresh Konda, who earned his Master of Science in Public Policy and Management degree and his PhD at Heinz College. Sharyar Nuru Zizade, if you could please join me on stage. The first recipient of the Suresh Konda Award is Sharyar Nuru Zizade for his paper, Temporal Supervised Contrastive Learning for Modeling Patient Risk Progression. Congratulations, Sharia. Thank you. The second recipient is Erika Montana 
for her paper, Cohort Bias in Predictive Risk Assessment of Future Criminal Justice Involvement. Erika could not join us today for the ceremony, but we would like to congratulate her on winning this award. The next PhD award is given in honor of Professor Emeritus George D. Duncan, who joined Carnegie Mellon's faculty in 1974 and spent his career advancing the application of statistics in decision-making, information systems, and in social accountability. Ashley Orr, if you could please join me on stage. <laughs> Ashley Elizabeth Orr is the recipient of this year's George D. Duncan Second Research Paper Award for a paper, Employer Preferences for Local versus Non-Local Workers, a Resume Audit Pilot. Congratulations, Ashley. The next PhD award is the William W. Cooper Dissertation Award, given annually at Carnegie Mellon University to a doctoral dissertation that deals with issues and problems in management science, science and has a strong applications orientation with accompanying theoretical or methodological development. Amanda Coston, please join, us, join me on stage. Amanda Coston is the recipient of this year's William W. Cooper Dissertation Award for a paper, Principal Machine Learning for Societally Consequential Decision Making. Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> okay. The Student Leadership Awards are presented to students recognized for excellent academic achievement, strong communication skills, and exceptional promise for future success. To, today we are awarding the PPM Student Leadership Award, the CFA Joint Program Student Leadership Award, and this year we have the inaugural Stephen Rorig ISM Student Leadership Award. Faculty member Stephen F. Rorig who passed away last year, spent 26 years with us at Carnegie Mellon on the Heinz College faculty. This award was created in his honor to give an outstanding graduate student from the School of Information Systems and Management that has demonstrated excellence in leadership. This year's recipient of Stephen Rorig's ISM Student Leadership Award is Ton Nugan. Ton. Ton is graduating today from the Master of Science in Information Security Policy and Management program. Ton was instrumental in founding a chapter of women in cybersecurity here at Heinz College. Through this organization, she connected our students to the global community of women, allies, and advocates, as well as nurtured the bonds among her peers. As one of her nominators noted, Ton truly is a delight, and her leadership is natural and unassuming. She, reg she regularly organizes and initiates plans that enable our cohort to congregate, share ideas, and celebrate each other on this tumultuous journey. Following graduation, Ton will be starting an information security position at a credit card company. So congratulations again. This year's recipient of the PPM Student Leadership Award is Bobby Lincoln. Bobby, please join me on stage. And let me read your... Yeah. Bobby is graduating today from the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management program. Bobby has demonstrated the aptitude and the spirit of being a student leader as a member and elected representative of the CMU Graduate Student Assembly. Bobby has done important work, including promoting social, including promoting social justice, civic engagement, and bringing state and local officials in conversations with Carnegie Mellon students. 
Bobby took the lead in organizing and executing on the Allegheny County Executive Democratic primary debate hosted on campus. His attention to detail and ability to connect with a wide variety of stakeholders contributed to making the event a resounding success. Following graduation, Bobby is excited to be staying in Pittsburgh to continue his work with Duquesne Light as a project associate building publicly accessible electric vehicle charging infrastructure throughout the Pittsburgh region. Congratulations and thank you, Bobby. <laughs> All right. This year's recipient of the CFA Joint Program Student Leadership Award is Marika Lumholt. <laughs> Marika, please join me. Marika Lumholt is graduating today from the Master of Arts Management Program. She has leveraged her strong communication and leadership skills to be a connector within the MAM cohort and has served as an ambassador for the MAM program. Marika has also worked closely with the MAM Center for Arts Management and Technology, including being a contributor to AMT Labs podcast. Her exemplary dedication to the arts in the Heinz community was noted by her nominators. Congratulations and thank you, Marika. We'll get the schedule of when to award and have them stay on stage right in just a minute. All right. And now for the Outstanding Teaching Assistant Awards. Presented in recognition of excellent student support by a Heinz College teaching assistant. The ISM Outstanding Teaching Award goes to Michael Ambrose Afari. Michael, please join me on the stage. Michael's efforts as a teaching assistant were much appreciated by his peers, as evidenced by an outpouring of support for this award. Nominators valued his extraordinary patience with explaining difficult and complex material, as well as his attention to student learning. I also had an opportunity to work with him at the Block Center. So congratulations and thank you, Michael, for your excellent service to our students. The PPM Outstanding Teaching Assistant Award goes to Colby Yu. Colby, please join me on stage. Colby received many nominations for this award, each in their own way, citing his commitment and attention to students' needs and his knack for meeting them where they are and to ensure their comprehension and success. His nominators also appreciated his warm and approachable personality, which particularly helped first-year students feel more connected to the Heinz community. Congratulations, and thank you, Colby, for your work. Each year, the graduating class chooses one student to share his or her thoughts and reflections on their experiences at Heinz College. This year, Sophia Phillip was selected by her peers. <laughs> Sophia is graduating today from our Master of Science in Healthcare Policy and Management. She's originally from New York City and earned a Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology from Hampshire College. Following our graduation today, Sophia looks forward to using her skills in quantitative and qualitative analysis from Heinz, as well as her exploration of service design from the School of Human-Computer Interaction in the public sector. Sophia, the podium is yours. Good afternoon. Woo, there we 
go. Okay. Hello and welcome everyone. Today is a celebration of joy as we recognize the incredible accomplishments of the graduates. It bears repeating, on behalf of the entire Heinz community, I would like to extend a heartfelt welcome to the families and friends who have come to support these exceptional people on this special day. During my time at Heinz, I've come to know a community that I am humbled to share a connection with. A community made up of data scientists, policy advocates, writers, neighbors even, and most importantly, friends. We each came here to discover a new dimension of our intelligence and ingenuity of the world we live in. We have earned degrees in information system, healthcare analytics, arts and entertainment management, and many other areas. Across these programs, we have been taught various ways to measure the things that count. Oftentimes, the goal is to decrease the measure of error and increase the degree of impact, or find a significant value that reveals a new insight. But as we shift from student to professional, we have to think about how our work fits into the larger world context. Sometimes it can be challenging to see how our work counts for the people it is intended for. Calculating routine metric just sometimes feels like a metric. Yet it is in those metrics we can make choices of what or who is included. This choice is what speaks to the immense power of what we do. Several years ago, I was working at a hospital that had committed itself to provide better care for LGBTQ patients. Physicians, administrators, and community members had partnered together to push this initiative. Our primary task was to add two data fields to the patient intake form, sexual orientation and gender identity. But an important question emerged in this process. How could only two data fields be enough to rectify the injustices endured for a community historically mistreated in healthcare? A colleague explained it to me very simply. If I am not counted, how will I count? In that question lies the significance of why we are all here today and what Heinz has prepared us to do. Harness the power of data for those that may be counting on us. Counting is not just about the numbers. Counting is the action that can make certain previously excluded communities are now accounted for in planning, policy making, and ensuring outcomes that serve everyone. We have dedicated two years of our life staying up way too late, drinking too much coffee, and asking ChatGPT for too much advice. <laughs> We've also learned how to collect data and craft spreadsheets, models, and analyses so diligently. And to what effect? to bring life to the information and give voice to the people that the data impacts. This makes the difference between ensuring whether someone is considered below or above the poverty line, approved or rejected for a loan, qualified for or excluded from Medicaid. As we continue on after Heinz, I encourage you to ask yourself the same question my colleague posed to me. If I am not counted, how will I count? This question is your guide to use the tools and perspectives you have gained during your studies to ensure no one is left out and no one is left behind. Today, Heinz College is recognizing each of us as an honorable graduate. Heinz saw in us the potential, the spirit, to use data for those that may be counting on us and we are ready. This degree is evidence of the immense growth we have undergone, the skills we have mastered, and the accomplishments we have made. Congratulations, graduates of 2023.
Thank you, Sophia. It's now time to recognize our graduates receiving their master's degrees. Some students, I know, it's time. <laughs> Some students are recognized as graduating with distinction, others with highest distinction. Will program director Sean Beggs please come forward to congratulate our Masters of Information Systems Management graduates. Will the graduates of the Master of Information Systems Management please rise and come forward. Daniel Zhou. Jun Shi Gao. Wang Chen Shu. Zi Mo Gao Distinction. Yue Ming Zhong. Shiana Kankani. Lan Wei Distinction. Bandish Parik, highest distinction. Tian Yi Song. Zhi Yuan Jiang, distinction. Lu Lu Lin, distinction. Michelle Hu. Kimberly Huang. Sanskriti Gokhale. Zi Xin Ying, highest distinction. Nirmal Patel. Zhi Qi Li. Saujanya Manipal, distinction. Zhi Ben Chen. Ishank Lakmani. Zheng Yang Guo. Xu Yong Cheng. Xia Wei He, highest distinction. Yi An Chen. Xin Yi Yang. Yu Chen. Ray Di Chang, distinction. Bill Sun. Xin Yi Chen. Daniel Molenhaus. Zi Zhen Qian, distinction. Vamil Sanjay Gandhi. Jasmine Chu. Shubham Jain. Zhi Ying Nyu, highest distinction. Tarun Grover. Chu Chi Liu, highest distinction. Chi Yuan Ma. Joseph Liao. Shi Hong Liu. 
Louis Gao. Nian Yi Guo. Srishti Mohan. Zi Jin Zhou, highest distinction. Asta Joshi. Shakshi Verma, highest distinction. Etvin William Handoko, highest distinction. John V. Gupta. Jennifer Laura. Akati Batra, highest distinction. Sammy Jung. Ankit Kumar, distinction. Yi Ten Ma, highest distinction. Krishna Raj Puaskar. Ying Shui Li, highest distinction. Anuja Anil Salvi. Ray Pan, distinction. Rohit Yadav. Ivy Meng. Pranav Varma. Simran Gore Virdi, distinction. Anirid Ambati, highest distinction. Pan Ke Jing, distinction. Sarat Krishna Wakalanka, highest distinction. Chu Chu Wu. Shivam Patel, highest distinction. Dan Wo Wang. Ren Jie Zhong, distinction. Bupesh Rana. Mu Chen Guo. Jun Feng Lin, highest distinction. Zhi Mo Wang. Simon Zhang, distinction. Muskan Shirma, distinction. <laughs> si Jie Xiang. Ajikutira Shivani Puwaya. Ping Shan Li, highest distinction. Riaz Panjwani. Saurabh Korgaukar. Shreya Bedi. Chirag Huria. Samaya Bunsil, distinction. Utkarsha Naker. Yashika Goyo. Aditya Bindra. Ruhi Patel. Arpit Kaul, highest distinction. Tong Yuan, distinction. Mehek Niraj Marwa. Zi Hung Yang, distinction. Donika Sujan, highest distinction. Yu Chen Du, distinction. Anjali Rajiv Tambe. Hao Yang Wu. Natasha Nainen. Shi Yu He, distinction. Ajinkya Razane, distinction. Meng Yao Xu, highest distinction. Mayank Ravi Shankara, highest distinction. Jian Xiu Xu. Vebhavi Baid. Yi Lin Tao. Ruchita Wishwana Maitri, highest distinction. Mia Zhang. Yash Agrawal, highest distinction. Shashank Kunikulaya, highest distinction. Yashasvi Modi. Nishe Gupta, highest distinction. Shui Ting Meng, highest distinction. Nima Nayak, highest distinction. Min Yi Xuan, highest distinction. Urvish Thakur, highest distinction. Abaya Jeramun, highest distinction. Atarva Subesh Kisti, highest distinction. Aratrika Chakraborty, distinction. Suyash Srivastav. Kavyaka Pelaguru, distinction. Aditi Matal, highest distinction. Tapasya Maji, distinction. Atil Kumar Rai, highest distinction. Gori Varshni, highest distinction. Sandeep Vemulapali, distinction. Kiran Solapur. Arpit Agrawal, distinction. Sanjana Sanjay Rinke, highest distinction. Mohil Jain, highest distinction. Jayesh Karandakar, highest distinction. 
Aditya Singh, highest distinction. B. Jung Jang, highest distinction. Punya Matthew. Kritika Dewedi, distinction. Isha Dewedi. Vishal Kupkar, highest distinction. Raghav Gupta. Shashank Chakara, highest distinction. Zheng Changzhou. Aditya Dua, highest distinction. Zhu Hao Rong, distinction. Jia Qi Liu, distinction. Yu Fan Lu, distinction. Jie Zhu. Yu Chen Wu. Gautam Naik. Pooja Shavan, highest distinction. Yu Ting Long. Devika Kale, highest distinction. Famine Daramshi, highest distinction. Shreya Jatendra Oswal, highest distinction. Niket Pyrek, highest distinction. Swapnu Jatin Kadakia, distinction. Disha Podar. Meet Shah, highest distinction. Radhika Shivara Makrishnan. Janavi Dabak. Kriti Anand. Jiang Wan Tian, distinction. Shriya Mishra, highest distinction. Parth Choksi, highest distinction. Pirati Kapoor. Anuja Dilip Kumar Patil. Yi Chi Hu, highest distinction. Davidson Siga, distinction. Xin Yuan Shu, distinction. Yi Wen Zhou. Yue Hao Fu. Leo Lin. Tian Lan Li, distinction. Yi Xuan Lu. Yi Ming Zhong. Yan Ju Liao. Kao Shou Lan Kie Van Kata Naga. Wei Cheng Huang. Ke Qing Qing. Wei Huang. Jing Yi Wu, distinction. Qi Zheng. Yash Jahagidar, distinction. Rohan Paliwal, distinction. Palak Saraugi. Chun Zhong Shi, distinction. Sakshi Kumar. Amelia Lee. Shreya. Yi Cheng Huang, highest distinction. Akshay Bahadur, highest distinction. Janice Lin, highest distinction. Abhinav Singh, highest distinction. Melody Huang, highest distinction. Afia Khan. Faizan Khan. Harshal Vora, highest distinction. Ansh Gupta. Samriti Kocher, highest distinction. Ayushi Pradeep Kumar. Abhishek Singh. Vaishnavi Hardikar, highest distinction. Ahmed Saudat. Bahavika Shahani. Nandata Prasad, distinction. Pratik Mittal. Sanika Vaidya. Vebab Pandey. Kartik Manjanat, highest distinction. Mayank Bansil. Prajakta Wani. Abhishek Mohapatra, highest distinction. Ishan Pahare. Sohail Sheikh. Eshwarya Roy. Eshwarya Yadav. Anuj Anjirwala, highest distinction. Miloy Minar Ajmera. Hao Zhang. Ashish Nair. Ku Jun Jo. Garvik Kataria. Jack Tian, distinction. Kedar Deshpande. Zhang Zhong Yue, highest distinction. Sanjay Rajpal. Lu Xuan Pan, highest distinction. Sahil Krishnadas. Jason Allen Matras, highest distinction. Sirish Mulugu, distinction. Amitesh Ramesh. Arushi Sinha, highest distinction. 
Rajnikant Ramakant Tenguria, distinction. Anindita Sahu, distinction. Yi Yun Hu. Srinivas Nambi, highest distinction. Xiang Li. Nikhil Kashyap. Tsu Chi Dun. Satish Srinivasa. Xin Zheng. Saitesh Reddy Gulupala. Ang Li. Abhishek Mohan, highest distinction. Sushant Reddy, highest distinction. Thomas Choi. Nehal Chaturverdi. Sophie Pung. Faid Sheikh. Anjana Baita, distinction. Rohan Sunil Paikatil. Aditya Natala, highest distinction. Yi Ren Wong. Abhishek Sundaresan. Michael Afari, highest distinction. Sattvic Kumar. Yuan Mo Ju, highest distinction. Shamita Ravinaidu, highest distinction. Ruchi Patia, highest distinction. Abranil Chandra. Maxine Ma, distinction. Vamsudir Parasuram Puram. Jung Zeng. Ning Lin Liu, distinction. Grishma Nair, distinction. Yi Ning Wang. Meghna Nair, distinction. Yue Liu. Zi Lin Fang. Yu An Hu, distinction. Li Jun Shi, distinction. Shreyash Rawat, distinction. Rohil Vijaywargi, highest distinction. Rahul Goenka, highest distinction. Ashwini Madhur Ashok, distinction. Shravya Mandadi. Phoenix Nguyen. Yu Xiang Zhang. Tian Tian Fang, distinction. Xu Yi Chen, highest distinction. Yun Xuan Yu. Kanishka Amara Bambani, highest distinction. Guo Jiang Zhao. Naman Aurora, highest distinction. Ruchita Nagare. Yu Yang Hu, highest distinction. Yashash Gaurav. Yue Ming An, distinction. Shuban Wishwanath. Chen Ying Li. Roske Nakashima, highest distinction. Zhao Dongxiang. Nikita Jyoti, distinction. Yun Shan Zhang, highest distinction. Mehek Sharma. Jonathan Wang. Zhuo Fan Yu. Yue Chen, distinction. Yu Fei Chan. Ren Zhi Xin, highest distinction. Yu Xuan Li. Tian Tong Li, distinction. Christy Chuck. Jing Ru Gong. Charu Johns. Yu Xuan He. Will the graduates of the Master of Information Systems Management, Business Intelligence, and Data Analytics please rise and come forward.
Takotomo Saito. Jonathan Marr, Distinction. Yoon Young Wong. Mariano Hernandez Calva, Distinction. Isabella Hu. Rob Skinker, Distinction. Cole Thomas, Highest Distinction. Tim Nodded. Kelly McManus, Highest Distinction. Trisha Kalia. Christy White. Hannah Morgan Fairfield. Eric Rue. Matthew Moellering. Brittany Redmond, Highest Distinction. Noah Heyman. Sai Rajula Devi. Michael Young. Neha Joshi. Le Hao Su. Yu Bai He Jo. Lei Lei. Nan Ge Li. Angel Li. Han Ming Wang. Suparna Shetty. Vebhav Gore Distinction. Abiru Panja. Li Ke Ning. Ananya K. Ragupati. Claudia Fang, Highest Distinction. Tejomayu Wandaili. Siuli Upadhyay. Aditi Reddy, Distinction. Lokeshwa Ja. Arshia Singh. Shashank Singh. Just Kamlesh Haria, Highest Distinction. Bowen Hu. Rohit Sanyal, Distinction. Ming Yuan Fu, Highest Distinction. Bindu Rajana, Highest Distinction. Parta Marella. Dia Chandara, Distinction. Kaushik Subramani. Ayush Kandewa, Highest Distinction. Pranay Siddharth Mupala. Kredika Ashokumar. Nupur Latkar. Varun Jayet Chandran, Highest Distinction. Preet Jain, Highest Distinction. Sandishna Sampath. Sisu Gai. Shreya Gurumurthy. Abhijit Purka. Pawanjit Singh. Prajwal Ramesh. Ishan Merotra. Krishna Shoban. Sheshali Varik. Rohit Jain. Eva E. Jun Chen. Rishab Rustogi. Sho Yuan Yang. Anam Iqbal. Jen Caroline I. Shubham Dubey, Highest Distinction. Makunda Aital, Distinction. Akriti Nagar. Jia Chi Cindy Huang. Samya Shivakumar, Distinction. Rongxin Kelly Wang, Highest Distinction. Xiao Wen Yi, Distinction. Shi Yue Lu. Vabav Agarwal. Zheng Yue Gan. Aniket Sakpal. Lu Zhang. Prapti Sud. Yuan Bo Song, Highest Distinction. Christy Kunwari Baishya, Distinction. Daniel Huang, Highest Distinction. Walab Gajanan Karanjkar. Yu Liu, Highest Distinction. Sumed Nicole Shah, Highest Distinction. Yuelin Liu, Highest Distinction. Kirti Miryanam. Krishikesh Ikade, Highest Distinction. Yashasvi Madhukumar, Highest Distinction. Yashvi Takor, Highest Distinction. Tsu Kai Chen, Distinction. Rohit Govindan, Highest Distinction. Tsu Chi Li, Highest Distinction. Hao Nan Di. Hong Ling Lei, Highest Distinction. Pranav Karnani, Highest Distinction. Jing Yan Jiang.
Jing Yi Ran, highest distinction. Xu Han Zhang, highest distinction. Zhu Yu Li, highest distinction. Virash Lila Kietiwang. Nopemet Noem Wang Pak, highest distinction. Te Hyok Choi. Wan Ru Yu. Zhu Ting Hong, distinction. Monica Sumbering, highest distinction. Ashlyn M, highest distinction. Siopon Tejarat Sammi, highest distinction. Chu Wei Hao, highest distinction. Mahir Rao. Sheng Hui Li. Dear MISM and MISM Visa graduates, I would like to now reflect on a more serious matter. That is the various struggles you encountered and endured as MISM students. Many of you were pushed to your wit's edge, feeling tormented and tortured by the demands of a rigorous curriculum and a zealous faculty. At times, you felt as a sense of excitement and fear as you were as if you were on an out of control roller coaster ride with way too many ups downs twists turns and loops other times you felt as if you couldn't go on and you didn't have the energy or the stamina to continue this race to sum it all up mism was hard so now, what does it all mean? What's the point? My friends, let me offer this insight. MISM was about the training that prepared you for what lies ahead. Embrace the adventure and uncertainty of life because no matter what you may face in the future, you know exactly what you are capable of doing. And, Exhibit A. Your future is so bright. We all gonna wear shades. Congratulations, MISM and MISM Beta graduates. Please join me in a round of applause. Well, the graduates of the Master of Science in Information Security Policy and Management, please rise and come forward. Ivy Warren, highest distinction. Tiara D'Souza, highest distinction. Andrew Funk, highest distinction. Harashri Ray, highest distinction. Oh, sorry, distinction. Tanner Purvis. Tejas Pramod Paranjapi, distinction. Ruben Peck, distinction. 
Orvi Jair. Tyler Francis, highest distinction. Snehit Chalagoa. Daniel Barrick, highest distinction. Stacy Tremaine Hawkins II. Catherine Sanchez, highest distinction. Zi Nuo Shu, highest distinction. John V. Vampalu. Ming Rei Chung, highest distinction. Romina Tello Lobato. Matthew Edward Nikolai, highest distinction. Selma Al Arfuj, highest distinction. Xiao Xin Shen, highest distinction. Matthew Evans. Hung Rei Wang, highest distinction. Sean Michael Penfield, highest distinction. Chu Peng Sui. Tan Nguyen. Joy Chow, distinction. Jitin Reddy Shabadu, highest distinction. Kanami Maeda, highest distinction. Xin Zhi Luo, highest distinction. Faven McGursal. Courtney Thomas, highest distinction. Taylor Jason Williams, highest distinction. Zachary Jensen, highest distinction. Tanner Jones, highest distinction. Jaden Richens, highest distinction. Benjamin Clark Olm. Caden Blaze Masoup, distinction. Sanjesh Chevenin, distinction. Dear MSISPM graduates, uh, Director Trezak was un unable to join us today, so he asked me to read this statement to you. We want to take this opportunity to congratulate the 2023 MSISPM graduating class. It was great to see the personal and professional relationships that were built during your time at Carnegie Mellon. Thank you to all of you graduates who served as teaching assistants and or volunteered your time to help other students, whether that was in the form of tutoring, mentoring, attending prospective student weekend activities, or serving as a Heinz College ambassador. We hope the relationships you built here at the Heinz College will last a lifetime and encourage you to continue to generously assist others throughout your career. Signed, Randy Trezak. Please join me in a round of applause for the MSISPM graduates. Will Program Director Allison Frankoski please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Information Technology please rise and come forward? These MSIT graduates are part of our part-time online and evening program. They've been juggling full-time jobs, families, military service, and today, while this walk to the stage might be short, many have actually come very far to be here. For their campus, some from Pittsburgh, but many from other parts of the country, the East Coast, the West Coast, Michigan, Texas, and Florida, we welcome them all, including a few from our campus in Australia. Today is the first day I get to meet many of them for the very first time in person. I am so proud of them and I want you to meet them too. Evan Kramer, highest distinction. Devin Ulam, highest distinction. Darren Andrew Giso, highest distinction. 
Dimitri Wilwright. Brent Ripperger Distinction. Mimi Beth Kilimberg. Adrian Jovem Menezes Distinction. Irene H. Kim, Highest Distinction. Matt Bowman, Highest Distinction. Jamil Hassani, Highest Distinction. Olivia Kisker. Sonali Matur, Highest Distinction. Ashna Dabas, Highest Distinction. Bernasia Ward Caldwell, Highest Distinction. Neka Achufasi. Anthony Song. Please join me in a round of applause for the Master of Science in Information Technology graduates. Will Program Director Jessica Bowser Acri please come to the podium? Will the graduates of the Masters of Arts Management please rise and come forward? As I greeted you today as you came in, and as I see you come to the stage today, I see the joy on your faces, and I mirror that joy back to you, ma'am grads. It is no small feat to, to complete a graduate program, especially one as rigorous as our Masters of Arts Management program. As you bask in the joy of this moment, remember the dedication and hard work that led you here. Let this joy fuel your passion for the arts, inspire you to be, overcome future challenges, and remind you that you are capable of achieving great things. Duncan Benboidel. Evan Honorud, highest distinction. Blake Ann Aber, highest distinction. Rachel Broughton, Highest Distinction. Theodora Listelin Thrustardutter. Isaac John Fisher. Moises Garcia. Sydney Leslie. Natalie Larson, Highest Distinction. Veronica Janet Lopez. Lauren Michelle Walker. Tian Lang Jian. Alex Kimmel, Highest Distinction. Sarah Bugamolni, Highest Distinction. Gabrielle Dirado, Highest Distinction. Morgan Hogan Miller, Highest Distinction. Marika Lumhold, Highest Distinction. Gabrielle Marie Clark, Highest Distinction. Vicki Yvonne Walters. Ilana Tova Weiner, Distinction. Katie Elizabeth Remark. Olivia Riva Browdy. Han Mo Zhou, Highest Distinction. Xiao Di Zhang, Distinction. Anita Yu Chen. Sheng Jia Liu. Phoebe Wu. 
Xiao Cheng Ma. Qin Yuan Shen. Alice Zhao. Yu Han Yan. Xin Zhao Zhou. All right, crowd, I'm going to ask you to give me a very big round of applause for the Master of Arts Management graduates. Will Program Director Dr. Daniel Green please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Entertainment Industry Management please rise and come forward? So to be in this program, it was a very long journey, a journey that started out with the trip to Pittsburgh, and then a short stop in New York City, and then off to Austin, Texas, for many of you, to Nice and Cannes, France, where some of you got COVID. And then for all of you, out to Los Angeles, where the second year of the program exists. And then for the final time, over to Park City, Utah, for Sundance. Back to Los Angeles. And then you're wrapping up today here at the Peterson Center, here at home in Pittsburgh. A long journey, but it's just the start of a journey for all of you, and I'm very proud of all of you. Grace Sue. <laughs> Carolina Quintana. Charlotte Liao, distinction. Kaylin Brown. Leanne Shaw. Kaitlyn Dewar. Amanda Malloy. Matt Fiocco, highest distinction. Daniela Restrepo, highest distinction. Rachel McNamara, highest distinction. Walter Rogelio Ragai, Garay. Kaylee Martin, highest distinction. Samantha Hazlett, highest distinction. Shambhavi Mishra, distinction. Gabby Lucia, highest distinction. Arshi Jane, distinction. Kopal Srivastava, distinction. Fei Yu Su, highest distinction. <laughs> Sia Conte. <laughs> Micah Tokiwa. <laughs> Samantha Ketter, distinction. <laughs> Sydney Roberts, distinction. Li Shuang Wu, highest distinction. Ryo Yun Tang, distinction. Victoria Sprouse, highest distinction. Anjana Kankanala. Please join me in a round of applause for the Master of Entertainment Industry Management students. Congratulations.
Will the director of the Master of Healthcare Analytics and Healthcare Management Program, Alexandra Lutz, please come forward. Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Healthcare Analytics and Information Technology please rise and come forward. In addition to their impressive academic achievements and postgraduate plans, this class of health analytics students are already genuine change makers. Their feedback has already helped alter curriculum and experiences for the rising second years and entering cohort. I'm convinced this class of graduates will do the same to drive healthcare industry change, and I can't wait to see what all of you do. Anirudh Venkata Subramanian, highest distinction. Niyata Malapati. Kartik Konduru. Samya Ruduraju. Snigta Patluri. Mitra Anand Kumar. Ashwarya Kura. Omar Al Musa Distinction Siddharth Sai Ancho Mater Kusumita Arora Alson Michalowski Highest Distinction Joseph Bajor Distinction Jesse Cha Shun Li, highest distinction. Wan Ying Zhang, highest distinction. Han Zhu Xie, highest distinction. Ro Yu Zhang, distinction. Tiffany Huang. Join me in a round of applause for the Master of Science in Healthcare Analytics and Information Technology students. Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Healthcare Policy and Management please rise and come forward? This small but mighty class of healthcare policy and management students really embodied what the degree emphasizes. You took courses in biomedical engineering, business, modern languages, and human-computer interaction. You're headed to jobs in policy, tech, design, and even clinical and school psychology. I'm looking forward to following each of your unique career paths. Sophia Phillip, highest distinction. Colby Yu. Victoria Rivera Peterson, highest distinction. Chelsea McGraw. Atticon Thomas. Jake Muscovitz, highest distinction. Please join me in a round of applause for the Master of Science in Healthcare Policy and Management students. Will Program Director Rebecca Apple please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Medical Management program please rise and come forward? When people ask me about the kind of physician who typically pursues the MMM, my answer is always the top 10% of the top 10%. You have dedicated 18 months to enhancing your skills, doing so while providing patient care during the most alarming public health crises of our time. 
I could not be more proud or in awe of each of you. I know you will apply all you have learned from the program and each other to improve the field of medicine for other physicians. Thank you for your commitment to transforming healthcare in our country. Amanda Hercules Smith. Janani Naramachi. Ako Walther. Julie Wei. Roger DiFilippo. Stephen Shankman. Arun Mavenor. Jason Su. Jeffrey Potoff. Syed Hussein. Bill Barker. Fani Chandra Kantameni. Jeff Masiewicz. Alessandro Furlan. Andres Zuleta. Please join me in a round of applause for the Master of Medical Management students. Will the Director of the School of Public Policy and Management, Gladys Perez Sieperser, please come forward. Will the graduates of the Master of Public Management please rise and come forward. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement. Your dedication, hard work, and ability to balance your personal and professional lives while pursuing your education is truly inspiring. I have no doubt that you will continue to excel in your future endeavors. You have truly earned this moment, and I am so proud of each and every one of you. Annie Harder. <laughs> Caroline Barman, highest distinction. Carly Benhart. Christopher Delansky, highest distinction. Melissa Brown, distinction. <laughs> Josephette Baragare, highest distinction. <laughs> Rebecca McGee. Lisa Wheatley, highest distinction. Kristen Cummings. Kristen Lindahl Garbarino, highest distinction. Please join me in a round of applause for the Master of Public Management students. Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management please rise and come forward. Felicidades, Gonchi, Yindi Yua Naka. Congratulations to you and to all of those who have supported you along the way, including your family and friends. I am, am incredibly proud of your achievements, and I hope you take this moment to reflect on your hard work and perseverance. You are a rock star, and I have no doubt that you will continue to achieve remarkable feats and make a positive impact in our society. Ruhi Patel. Bayan Mansour Asarafi. 
Audrey Samuel, highest distinction. Ibrahim Khalil Conte. Francisco Carafi. Giovanna Franklin, distinction. Ivan Kachanowski. Max Cameron Dricky. Bradley Scott Loss. Caroline Christ Sabin, highest distinction. David Akem, distinction. John Valella. Robert Lincoln, highest distinction. Colin Chung, highest distinction. Kashif Khan. Maggie Harger. Shreya Bungala. Druta Bhatt. Christina Vaya Reamer. Donner Call, highest distinction. Shanza Tour. Kiara Alondra Rodriguez Luciano, highest distinction. William Hazel Bristow Richards, highest distinction. Nahal Abdul Ghaffar. Rachel Fredrickson, highest distinction. Lily Elvi, distinction. Hallie Burnside. Irfan Radharma. Sachin Anjana Srivastava, highest distinction. Carolina Auchia Augusta. Reed Kramer Callan. Nobuhiro Nakai. Adrian Crow. Xuan Yue Zhang, highest distinction. McLeod Morehouse, highest distinction. Zi Qi Zhong, distinction. Sabrina Yan. Irene Zhang, highest distinction. Monica Bentley Vrooman, highest distinction. Xuan Cheng, distinction. Andrew Burroughs, highest distinction. Yu Qi Gao. Nicholas Ashby Lin, highest distinction. Ri To Li, highest distinction. Brandon Wallace, highest distinction. Allison Wallace. Jacob Wildfire, highest distinction. Royan Mirzada. Hannah Graber, highest distinction. Taylor Elizabeth Pop, highest distinction. Rue Aubrey. Ethan Rab. Ye Tian. Jada Olivia Noel Johnson. Kaylin DeZeo, highest distinction. Stachel Harris, highest distinction. Kelechuku Isabor, distinction. Rachel Gachet, distinction. Eun Young Lee. Joe Alejandro, highest distinction. Nick Graves. Yi Han Wu. Justine Carta Hess, distinction. Dennis Brink. Shelby Brianna Casaus, distinction. Sarah Becker, highest distinction. Allison Wunsch. AJ Herzog. Luca Begeshvili. Xiang Ling Liu. Tian Tian Zhu. Kelly Lemke. Noah Russo. Akansha Ravi Shankar. Ahana Sen.
please join me in a round of applause for the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management students. Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management, Data Analytics, please rise and come forward. Congratulations on this tremendous achievement. I recognize that the road to reach the top of this mountain has not always been easy, but isn't the view spectacular? It has been an honor to play a small part in your journey, and I am excited to see how you will use your skills in analytics to create positive change and make our world a better place. Jason Joes. E. Fan Jo, highest distinction. Abolash Biswas, highest distinction. Yan Yu Chen. Jameson Carter, highest distinction. Shi Yan. Mihir Bosker, highest distinction. Pei Jun Chen. Lohit Chiluka, distinction. Elaine Zhang, distinction. Vidisha Chowdhury, highest distinction. Shin Tong Jung. Camila Garcia, highest distinction. Jin Bo Zhang, distinction. Caroline Keller, highest distinction. Wei Xiao, distinction. Anchol Chowdhury. Shu Ting Feng, highest distinction. Pranav Bardwaj, highest distinction. Yvette Zhang. Philippe Shikar, highest distinction. Chi Wang. Daniel Picard, highest distinction. Ye Wei Chiu. Pantirak Kanchichi, distinction. Kohei Yoshida. Sarah Alhamdi, highest distinction. Yi Kelly Zhang, distinction. Shin Tomita, distinction. Hu Bei Chen. Klaijan Sintapadon, highest distinction. Jack Jacobs, highest distinction. Jamie Lim, highest distinction. Shantanu Sujit Samant. Darakarn Vini Fat, highest distinction. Abdullah Ahmed, distinction. Thomas Tam. Manur Ayub, highest distinction. Dai Ling Wu. Ricardo Ibarra Hill, highest distinction. Olivia Howe. Maru Khan, distinction. Rahila Suli, highest distinction. Bikas Gupta, distinction. Jesus Icario Herrera Luna, distinction. Joshua James Phillips. Sylvia Gu. Sebastian Dot, highest distinction. Lisa Young. Kurt Williams, highest distinction. Eric Nichols, highest distinction. Mary Jane MacArthur, distinction. Sumit Shinde. Shannon Duchy. Sarah Malachevaru, highest distinction. Jeremy Monroe Billfield. Fatima Berrigan Herrera. Kai TD, highest distinction. Philippine Kuganer, distinction. Sarah Marie Nance, highest distinction. Matt Lample, highest distinction. Gargi Sundaram, highest distinction. Michaela Marincic, highest distinction. Karma Marue. Yi Jin Yang, highest distinction. Sarah Koshal. Cynthia Lung, distinction. Sumati Sridhar, highest distinction. Megan Elizabeth Hussey. Ulua Shekemi Udumosu. Please 
join me in a round of applause for the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management, Data Analytics students. Will Program Director Marie Coleman please come forward? Last but not least, Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management Washington DC track please rise and come forward. For the DC students, and Fatima as well, not sure where you are, each and every one of you has impressed me with your dedication, ambition, optimism, and good humor. You have worked hard these last two years, not just as full-time students, but as nearly full-time professionals as well committed to public service in Washington, D.C. No easy feat. And what have you gained from all this hard work? Well, in addition to your Heinz diploma, I hope that you realize that you have developed confidence that you can do hard things, adaptability, that you can succeed in different environments and with different kinds of people, and time management skills, that you can prioritize tasks, get things done, and still have time for some fun. These are the skills that will get you through the rest of your careers, and more importantly, get you through life. And if none of that inspires you, just remember that after surviving these past two years, everything is going to seem easy. So take a moment to celebrate this incredible achievement and know that you are well equipped to take on whatever comes next. Mariama Baji, Distinction. Ibrahim Amir, Distinction. Sarah Torres Inda. Sara Ali. Miley Simons, Highest Distinction. Jessica Mu Young, Highest Distinction. Jillian Renee Cota. Kristen Hawkwriter, Highest Distinction. Maria Alejandra Achuri Camargo, Highest Distinction. Morelli Becerra, Distinction. Justine Hu, Highest Distinction. Yu Tong Valen Huang, Highest Distinction. Lizbeth Perez Hernandez. Fritz Jan P. Manzano, Highest Distinction. Kevin Kelly, Highest Distinction. Andrew Wallace, Distinction. Jake Steele. Chaston Fingston, Highest Distinction. Please join me in a round of applause for the Master of Science in Public Policy and Mas Management, Washington, D.C. track students. So let's uh, give all the graduates another Great round of applause. So it's my pleasure now to introduce this year's recipient of the Matsya Wade Teaching Award, Akshay Jha. Akshay? Akshay joined the Heinz College in 2015 and has taught vital courses such as applied econometrics and, <laughs> and econometric theory and methods. His research focuses on the intersection of energy, environmental economics, and industrial organization. In recent work, he's examined the introduction of financial trading to California's wholesale electricity market the phase out of nuclear power in Germany, 
the dramatic growth of roof rooftop solar capacity in Western Australia, and the determinants of electricity back blackouts in India. Akshay has also earned his bachelor's degree in economics and statistics from Carnegie Mellon before his PhD at Stanford. And I'm thrilled to present him with this year's Matsya Way Teaching Award. So Heinz College has a tradition that the winner of the teaching award imparts some final words of wisdom and inspiration to graduates. Like the future so bright, you need shades, you know, things of that nature. So Akshay, the podium, podium is yours. Well, thanks first for the introduction, Dean Krishnan, and thank you all so much for uh, this teaching award. Um, this would not have been possible without the help of my excellent TA staff, so I'm going to thank them up front. Thank you, uh, Manur Ayab, Garji Sandaram, Kai Tidi. I should have paused at each one. Ah, I'll, I'll get it. Um, and Xiao Shen Sun. So, to the graduating class of 2023, congratulations on this huge accomplishment. As uh, Dean Krishnan mentioned, I was an undergrad here at Carnegie Mellon from 2005 to 2009 all the way back when that Chipotle was five bar. <laughs> so I know firsthand that classes at CMU are not designed to be easy. The faculty and staff here at CMU in particular, or at Heinz in particular, have high expectations for our students. Students are expected to keep up with their constant stream of problem sets, papers, exams, and group projects. Not just for my class, but across all of the classes that they're taking. But through your hard work, dedication, and collaborative spirit, you have not just survived your time here at Heinz, but you have thrived. I hope that each and every one of you will take plenty of time to celebrate this significant achievement before undoubtedly diving headfirst into the whatever's next. So why, do, why am I up here? Well, as Dean Krushnown mentioned, I have the honor of speaking to you all today because some generous students uh, chose to nominate me for the Marcia Wade Teaching Award. Why do I emphasize generous? Well, these students took time out of their busy schedules to show appreciation for me and the other faculty here at Heinz. Uh, did I mention those constant streams of problem sets, papers, and exams we uh, threw at them? Well, in all sincerity, I am moved by your empathy and your willingness to uh, contribute to building con community. On the power of community, uh, let me start with an anecdote. Halfway through this past spring semester, I was puzzled by how few students were uh, coming to my office hours. Was I just uh, teaching so well that everybody got all of the material right away? Uh, thank God people didn't laugh. Uh, unfortunately for my ego, well, it wasn't the case. Uh, after a while, I finally broke down and asked why my office hours were near empty. Uh, um, and you know, it turns out, I, you know, a student told me, the entire class had set up a WhatsApp chat and were answering each other's questions in real time. I think 60 to 70 students coordinating to answer and help each other's question, help each other out in a time you know when they, they didn't get it. So anything I told one student in office hours, in lecture, or even just in the hall was immediately disseminated to the entire class via the chat. So that level of community building is super impressive, and that's just one small example of how you all have chosen time and time again to invest time, effort, and emotion into building community. This work to build community often seems thankless or even counterproductive. Time is scarce. Uh, you know, did I mention those problem sets and exams we uh, threw at you? But despite this, you have all recognized the long-term professional, academic, and personal value of building connections. Just again, really impressive. As you move forward from this milestone, I encourage you to continue investing in community, both in maintaining existing connections made here at CMU and in fostering a similar sense of community wherever you happen to go next. The relationships I formed with classmates, faculty, and staff as a CMU undergraduate have resulted in invaluable career advice, lasting memories, and lifelong friendships. On the flip side, as a faculty member, some of my fondest memories are of emails from former students describing how they used the method they learned in my class at work, 
or just simply catching me up on what they are up to. So speaking for all of the faculty and staff here at Heinz, we're grateful to have you as part of the Heinz community, and please do keep in touch. So let me close. I can tell, you know, um, you know, that was the one piece of advice I was given, keep it short. <laughs> so congratulations again on your uh, incredible achievement. I am proud to have been a small part of your journey, and I cannot wait to hear about all of the amazing things you will accomplish in the future. Thank you again for letting me be a part of this celebration. You know, at the beginning of the ceremony, uh, Congresswoman Lee talked about the importance of teams and coalitions, and here Professor Ja reinforces the importance of community. So a lot of commonality in the advice you've received. So congratulations again, and thank you, Akshay, for those uh, wonderful remarks. Folks, we are at the end of our program, and though it is bittersweet to send you out into the world, I cannot wait to see how you blend your experience here at Heinz with your own creativity and work ethic and apply yourselves in your chosen fields. This day coming together and celebrating your achievements, this is why we do what we do. And as you look ahead and move into this next phase of your lives, I want to reiterate that you'll forever be a part of our Heinz College community. We sincerely hope that you'll stay connected with us, and we wish you the very best in all you do. Bon voyage and congratulations.